New York City and Flushing Meadows, home to the US Open Tennis Championships, and also home to the APP Franklin New York City Open, part of the USA Pickleball National Championship Series. Watch top pros battle for cash prizes and golden tickets to the USA Pickleball Nationals in Indian Wells, California. Join us for all the action as we bring you coverage straight through Championship Sunday. The Franklin New York City Open is brought to you by Franklin, SunMed, Skechers, New Belgium, Head, Hank, and Pickleball Central. Welcome back. Championship Sunday continues here from the iconic USGA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. It has been home to some incredible gold medal match worthy pickleball. Michelle McMahon back with you alongside my partner in crime, Dominic Catalano, seven time US Open champ. And we saved the best for last, Dom. It is the mixed doubles final gold medal match of the day. Stacked with talent across all genders. Georgia Johnson and J.W. Johnson have yet to lose a match this tournament together, both 19 and 15 years old, respectively. Meanwhile, Zane Navratil looking for the triple crown, his third gold medal of the day, and his partner, Andrea Koop, looking for her second gold medal of the day, worked their way back into this gold medal match through the back draw. So they not only need to win this upcoming match, but also a final match to 15 points if they can get that job done against the Johnsons. Starting with Coop and Navratil, what makes their dynamics so strong between these two partners who are very used to playing with each other at this point? And that's exactly it, is they're very familiar with each other. They know each other inside and out as far as partnerships go. They get to practice together a few times a month. Andrew will come from Michigan to Illinois. Zane will come down from Wisconsin to Illinois. They'll meet at Johnson Cola's private court and they'll practice so they get to practice together but the biggest thing here is going to be this challenge that Zane Navratil is going to have to get his triple crown they need to go through the Johnsons not only once but twice but again talking about the team of Coop and Navratil what a team a dynamic two veterans of the sport Andrea Coop a backboard out here. She already has a gold medal with Simone Jarjim today in women's doubles. She's looking for her second gold medal and Zane Navratil looking for his third gold medal and triple crown here at the APP Franklin New York City Open. It's gotta be a tired man at this point in the day. Can't imagine fatigue won't be a factor for him, but nothing he's not used to, I suppose, in this sport. On the other side, it's Georgia Johnson and JW Johnson. They obviously know each other in and out, they're siblings, but on the pickleball court, how do they complement each other's game? They're great together. They, when they first played together about a year or so ago in a tournament, it wasn't the greatest. I've talked with them about that. They know that. It's changed, though. This dynamic has changed. They are playing really well together. What's First, changed? It, it's, it's, the, it's Georgia Johnson. She's the difference maker right now. She is playing so well. And the crazy part about I've known these two for about six years. So when Georgia was nine, I knew her running around a tennis court and a pickleball court when I lived in Naples and they were in Naples. Now they're over on the East Coast. But the two of these players are very dynamic. Georgia Johnson making a name for herself in women's doubles and now mixed doubles with her brother, J.W. Johnson. J.W. needs no introduction. Been on top of this sport for the last year now, making his name felt. But this duo, brother-sister, is going to be around for a long time. And they are sitting very pretty, coming through the winner's bracket, undefeated. All they need is this two out of three. And the gold medal here at the Franklin New York City Open is theirs. In the last six months, Georgia has collected 19 pro medals in mixed women's doubles and singles, to your point about her coming to life lately on the pro circuit. There you have the bracket, how these teams got there. To the winner bracket final, Johnson & Johnson took out Susanna Barr and Austin Gridley. 
called that match here on Championship Court. Koopa Navratil defeated Vivian David and Deckel Barr. And then on that bottom half, Koopa Navratil had to take out Corinne Carr and DJ Young to earn this spot back here in the gold medal match. JW Johnson has played in as many matches as Zane Navratil, so he might be equally wiped as Zane, although looking spry here in warmups, technically speaking, <laughs> what do you do against the Johnsons to make them work? Well, the thing is, is the Johnsons are gonna play fast, they're gonna play hard, they're gonna play aggressive. Right there in warmups, you're watching. Georgia's just trying to go at her brother. I think she may try and put a ball through him at times. But the difference maker on the court, I believe between all four of these players is going to be the X factor is Georgia Johnson. What can she bring? Obviously, they have already played once in the winter bracket final. Johnson's winning 8-11, so they dropped the first game and then win 11-8, 11-5. We did not see that match. Very tough one um, from what I hear, but Georgia Johnson is my X factor in this match. If she can handle herself, I have no doubt that they can come out on top here. And mixed is an interesting entity with the strategies. Typically, the women will see more of the balls. Yes. And how do you balance that? Yeah, and so that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see Georgia Johnson and Andrea Coop going back and forth constantly on that cross court. Biggest thing is that I gotta see Georgia Johnson moving her feet. She can't get stagnant. She likes to try to kind of reach and get around that ball. When she's moving her feet, that's when she's at her best. Andrea Coop is gonna try and really work her cross court. So we'll see how interesting this gets between the cross court forehand dinks from Andrea Coop and Georgia Johnson. Crowd starting to settle back in after they went to the bathroom, got a couple drinks, and maybe some food. Georgia Johnson leads us off for this gold medal match for Pro Mix Doubles. JW Johnson fending off his doubles partner, Zane Navratil, and they get themselves on the board first. It's the Johnsons. No oh, dinking there. Yes. <laughs> Lined up and ready to go. Georgia Johnson was on this backhand. Just out of the reach of Zane Navratil there. Splitting the difference on the defense. Georgia D Johnson does it again. Johnson's with an early three to nothing lead. What's caused the hot start for the Johnsons? They're playing hard. It's exactly what they want to do. They want to come out, play hard, play fast, and start things up at their pace. Look at that. I mean, Georgia Johnson going right at Jane Navratil, but it's, it's planned. Where she wants to go with that ball, she goes right at his right shoulder. Nothing he can do about that. Pickleball runs in the Johnson family. Their mom, Julie, of course, a top senior women's pro. Makes me wonder how the dad hangs in this mix. Oh, Jack is the boss. <laughs> yeah. Three nothing, and it's still second server. On the other side of the net, going, oh, we got through one serve, we can get through another. Such good defense for JW uh -huh. Johnson. Unbelievable hands on defense. How he gets some of these back, I do not know. Navratil will take his serve back. Johnson is very used to this serve. Doesn't make it any easier, though. A little yeah. miss hit there from J.W. Johnson and Koopa Navratil on the board. One, three, one. Point. 
3-1. Navratil closing the gap, bringing this game within one. J.W. Johnson closing the door on that hope. That's gas through the middle right there. Mm -hmm. Nobody even getting a paddle on it. What a read from Navratil coming over and poaching that ball. He waited for J.W. Johnson to make his move one step put away. And just like that, tie game. Game one of this Pro Mix Devils gold medal match. Reminder, the Johnsons could seal the deal winning this match and earning the gold, or Coop and Navratil could push another match if they win the best two out of three here. Since they came up through the back draw and already lost once in the tournament, the Johnsons have not yet lost. Georgia Johnson coming back to life, commanding the kitchen. She hits one of the heaviest and hardest balls. No doubt. Easy put away for Zane Navratil. Georgia Johnson popped it up just a little bit too high. Navratil will take the serve back. And they have the lead. JW Johnson finds the middle so fast with those hands. Georgia Johnson was lined up and anticipating the pace, dishes it right back. Well, yeah, Navratil's trying to bait her into going down the sideline. And Georgia's not biting right now. She's playing smart. I like what she's doing. Split second decision making. Great drop by JW Johnson right there. Nodded it forward. Whoa, and right. a sneak attack with the Ernie for Georgia Johnson. Full extension. On the backhand. Yeah, full extension. Using you love every, to see it. Every inch of that reach. A little awkward there from Navratil. JW Johnson carving some leverage here in game one. No. Georgia Johnson, the second server on their side. Just long for Georgia Johnson. A matrix-like dodge for Zane Navratil getting out of the way of that one. Yeah, great job by Zane. Recognizing where he's at. If he plays that ball, that's a very tough ball to play. But if he gets out of the way, easy. Earning the pop-up. Zane Navratil capitalizes, but Coop was essential on that play. Yeah, she was. She's the one who set that up right there. Five, 
J.W. Johnson. So stable with his presence at the kitchen. But good read right there from Georgia Johnson. She left that ball up a little high for Coop, and she realized and recognized that Coop was going to try and split the difference in the middle, and she covered beautifully. Lots of pace, and the Johnsons come away victorious on that rally. No room for her error here in this gold medal match. Wow, what a spot. So Johnson recognizing that Navratil is going to jump the corner there. So she shoots middle and Coop just a tad late covering. Tagged him. Georgia wow. Johnson coming to life. You said she was the X factor. She's living up to your expectations. Yeah. Yeah, Navratil thought she was going to go middle. He opened up to the forehand. Guessed wrong and goes off the shoulder. That ball is wide. The Johnsons pulling away with a three point lead, and a timeout will be called on the court. So far, how have the Johnsons been able to pull away slightly here? 9-5 oh, lead, excuse me. Yeah, they are holding up nicely. And again, like we talked about in the pregame, Georgia Johnson, the X Factor, well, she's doing everything right right now. Not making many mistakes, making right decisions. I mean, recognition of Navratil two plays ago, going for an Ernie and then shooting a winner down the middle. That's just pickleball IQ that's very hard to teach, and especially to a young woman like that. She's just, she's so young, but so well seasoned in the game. And it's because of where she's playing, who she's playing with, she's learning as she gets older. And it's just showing right here on the court. I mean, she's 15 years old. Imagine where she's going to be when she's JW's age and even beyond that. Mm -hmm, exactly. And I think playing with her brother right now, of the two of them, she's the voice of the two of them. She's the talker. She's the one who talks. She's the one who has the personality between the two of them. JW's just out there doing his job. George is the one talking, and she'll keep him even keel here, being the little sister, too. Georgia Johnson pounces on the overhead. The key there is Navratil goes for the Ernie, can't get a hard Ernie, so he tries to flip cross court. JW takes his flip out of the air and hits to the vacated area. It's very similar to what Georgia did. She saw the fake Ernie before, flip to the middle. JW does the same thing. Great pickleball IQ. Game point on the side of the Johnsons right now with a chance to win the first of two, maybe three, in this gold medal match. J.W. Johnson punches that one home and secures a game one victory for his team. The Johnsons remain dominant in the mixed doubles field. What do you think, Dom? I mean, we were tied at four. So that's a 7-1 run to end it for the Johnsons. Feeling too good right now. Coop and Navratil need to come up with a game plan to slow down Georgia and JW. Our coverage continues here on ESPN. Game two is coming your way right after this short break. We are back and our coverage of the gold medal match for pro mixed doubles continues on. The Johnsons won game one. It is a best of two of three. Zane Navratil, Andrea Coop looking to come back into game two. They are the challengers, which means they need to win this one, the next game, and then push another match to 15 points to take down the Johnsons who have yet to lose 
in this tournament together. That ball well out of bounds. So Georgia Johnson takes over. Zero, one, one. Navarrete Hill snipes one with the backhand down the middle. Such fast reflexes. Loves that shot. Yeah, a little speed up there from Coop at the backhand of Georgia Johnson. Navarrete Hill with the finish. Navarrete looking for the triple crown. Already has two gold medals and a nice purse full of money after this tournament. Good for him. Navratil scared his partner. <laughs> Came down with a fake on the urn. He stomped, and as soon as he stomped, Coop put that in the net. But all tied here at one. Georgia Johnson with an authoritative forehand slap saying, see you later. If you watch Navratil on this, he turned to get out of the way. He wanted no part of that. Georgia Johnson has been impressive for you so far in this match. What, what are the biggest things you're noticing for the 15-year-old? The composure, how composed she is. Um, and then her, we talked about it before, her pickleball IQ, what she's recognizing, what she's picking up, picking up the Ernie from Zane, so she flips middle for a winner. Um, recognizing not to go there, to go middle with a lot of her things to keep Zane there. J.W. Johnson finds the corner. Zane Navratil almost got that, by the way. Incredible effort, for incredible some, put away. For some reason, Zane ended up behind Andrea, I don't know, not thinking she was going to get that, and then ended up out of position. Easy winner for J.W. Little handcuff job there by Zane Navratil on Georgia Johnson. Two, two, two. Tying things up at two. He's the second server for his side. Oh, Falls short ah. and expresses his frustration. Two, two, one. <laughs> Johnson gets a little out in front of that. J.W. Johnson with a nifty backhand, splitting the middle. Watch Navratil here, he gets off his feet. On the move, J.W. Johnson builds on their three to two lead. What a shot. Yep, ball catches, Johnson. It, yeah, catches that line again. Navratil authoritatively stepping in there. Well, it's nice about what he did there. He was protecting Andrea. Andrea was coming up on the stack, and so he was protecting her spot until she got there. Good recognition. Right 
Wick side out for the Johnsons. Back on serve here, trying to add to that lead. Andrea Coop through the legs of J.W. Johnson. Former tennis standout, lawyer by day, pro pickleballer by night and weekend. What a shot by Georgia Johnson. What went into the decision making there? I mean, watch this. Neversill thinks that she's gonna flip behind him and she goes at the right shoulder. Again, How does she see that so early? She's just, she's got great recognition and, and understanding of what's going on. She knows who her opponents are. She's doing her homework. This is not something that should be surprising to anyone. The Johnsons have knowledge of who they're playing. They've talked about it. They but they're know what so they young, so it is kind of impressive. It, 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 oh, it's totally impressive. Just why for J.W. Johnson wanting that one back. Yeah, seen a bit of frustration from JW there for the first time. Zane Navratil finds the empty hole. We have a close game once again for this gold medal match. Tied up at five. Tricky serve from Navratil and J.W. Johnson fends off the pace at the net. And that's J.W. Johnson doing what Navratil did earlier. He's protecting his partner as George is coming up on the stack. He slides over and covers that spot. What a finish. Zane Navratil with that lethal two-handed backhand. Locked and loaded. He's already swinging back, knowing the pace is coming by the time this ball crosses the plane. Absolutely, and that's what Navratil does well too, is he knows his opponents. He knows tendencies where players are gonna wanna go with that ball. So he's gonna get his paddle back early and be ready. Also helps they have the background knowledge on each other. J.W. Johnson and Zane Navratil who play together. Yeah, there's something for playing next to someone and seeing what they do well constantly and in certain scenarios correct andrea coop building on a nice lead here for game two it, it just makes it look easy yeah it's, explain why that wasn't an easy so easy shot it's so nonchalant but he, as that ball goes up he knows as soon as that ball went up where he wanted to go with it and all it is is about execution it's literally a wrist flick he's not swinging it's a simple wrist flick with a good angle all it is Johnson's not going anywhere in this one. Great defense by Coop. JW, too much to handle, finishes the rally with authority. Yeah, JW was all over that. He wanted to take that point over, stepped right in front of little sister and said, I got this, don't worry about it. Wow. Oh, big finish from JW. As good as he is defensively, equally good offensively. The pace was impressive. He commanded the offense in that point. Seven, seven, one. Oh. 
point. It's tough, an easy ball. You never like that. That's the worst, especially after you're in a long rally like that. The easy one you miss. The Johnsons right back in and once again with the lead now two points away from a gold medal in this mixed doubles matchup. What happened to cause the momentum shift? Coop and Navratil had control of this match up until the last five or so points. So we were talking during commercial. Is JW taking over? Is that the difference maker? Or was it Georgia Johnson is holding her own? It was Georgia Johnson holding her own in the first game, absolutely hands down. It was not JW taking over. Game two, different story. Halfway through the second game, JW has said, okay, I'm gonna kind of take over here, and that's what he's done. So he's made his presence felt a lot more in this second game. He didn't have to in the first game. Not like he really has to, but they were tight. 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, five, 5-5. Five. As soon as they got the 5-5, five, five, he was like, okay, let's kind of go here. And he's kind of pushed that a little bit. So in order to turn the tables back, Coop and Navratil have their work cut out for them. They do, they need to slow him down. How do you slow him down? You gotta get him into some dink rallies, but you gotta take him out. Not let him allow himself to step in and take over. You're hearing some background noise. We are right near LaGuardia Airport. Now it is a couple planes have flown past now as we just displayed. As for the pickleball side of things, the Johnsons with a nine to seven lead and a gold medal on the line. Georgia Johnson. She has been a difference maker, as you mentioned, handling most of the balls. Yep. Here we go. Match point for the Johnsons. Andrea Coop says no more. Time for us to get a run. And this is a not a big lead here. Coop and Navratil can answer this in a minute. Did he catch the line? I thought he missed it. Nobody knows, nobody saw it. Let's have another look ourselves. And, oh gosh, that's as Tough. close as it gets. Yeah, so no one really was clear on it, so ball is called in. Navratil with a chance to create a little momentum as they desperately need their backs against the wall here in game two. There she is again, Georgia Johnson, unfazed by anything that comes her way. She earns match point once again to her side. Pressure's on Andrea Coop. Catches the net, J.W. Johnson closes the door, earns his second gold medal of the day. Georgia Johnson adds to her tab 20 gold medals, pro medals in the last several months. And the Johnsons just looked absolutely dominant in this mixed pro doubles event. What was the best takeaway for you? Again, Tommy. going in, the X factor was Georgia Johnson. She handled herself beautifully in game one, 11-5 victory. And then J.W. Johnson said, all right, sis, I got you. Jump on my back. We'll take over in game two, and we'll walk away gold medalists at the Franklin New York City Open. Punching their ticket to Indian Wells taking place in November. That concludes our coverage from the booth, at least, but don't go anywhere. We've got post-game reactions and interviews coming your way with Lauren McLaughlin right after this. It has been a pleasure bringing you pickleball coverage today. For Dominic Catalano, I'm Michelle McMahon. Lauren McLaughlin will conclude our coverage right after this short break.
Welcome back to the Franklin studio one final time with our silver medalists, Andrea Coop and Zane Navertil. Let's hear it for them. So this was the first match of Championship Sunday where we had a rematch between two teams. You guys faced off in the winter bracket final on Friday. Tough three game loss to the Johnsons then and then you had a battle of a bronze medal late into the evening after a rain delay on Friday against Corinne Carr and DJ Young. So coming into today, you're facing off with the Johnsons again. What ultimately do you think was the difference in the outcome here today? Uh, they played better. <laughs> That's si simple and short. I like it, Andrea. So Zane, no triple crown today, unfortunately, but two golds and a silver. It was always gonna be a bit of an uphill battle having to double dip again. So I, you have to still feel pretty good about your outcome this tournament. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you told me two golds and a silver before the weekend, I would have been pretty happy with that, pretty excited about it, and I still am. Um, it's, a, it's a great result and um, Andrea and I are playing better and better. Uh, we got the, the monkey off of our back, beating Deckel and Vivian for the first time in a while. Um, yeah, certainly happy with uh, how we played, and Triple Crown's just an added bonus, and uh, you know, just, just happy to have three medals, two golds, a silver, next time. I mean, we'll see you guys many, many times again on the podium. You will have that triple crown chance. I have no doubt again. But another big congrats to our silver medalists here at the Franklin New York City Open, Andrea Coop and Zane Navertil. Let's bring on out the siblings. Gold medalists, Georgia Johnson and J.W. Johnson. Let's hear it for them. First of all, is it even fair to have this much talent in one family? I mean, you guys are both still teenagers. This is your first ever gold medal together as siblings at the biggest tournament of the year. How does that feel? Um, it feels amazing. I'm so privileged to be able to call him my brother and to be able to play with him. And it was a lot of fun. And thank you to everyone who made it happen. Thank you to our sponsors, Day One, and my sponsor, Chicken and Pickle. They make everything I do possible. Um, so of course your parents are here cheering you on watching you how are you guys gonna go celebrate this this big win tonight uh, by a plane going back home oh, um, yeah home. so uh, we got by making our flight. oh they got to make a flight all right that is a good way to celebrate well again a big congratulations JW Johnson two excuse me silver and two golds here today excuse me Two silvers and a gold here today at the new, yeah. I was right? Yeah, you're right. Thank you, Georgia. Oh, sorry, Zane. <laughs> Lots of medals in this family. That's <laughs> what it comes down to. So a big congrats once again to our gold medalists here in mixed pro doubles, Georgia Johnson and J.W. Johnson. Bring in Ken Herman. Oh. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> On behalf of APP, JW in Georgia, terrific playing all week long. We want to award you with a trophy here. First place, our mixed doubles champions, Franklin, New York City Open. Congratulations. And that will conclude our championship Sunday coverage here at the Franklin New York City Open. A big thank you to USTA and of course being here at the Billie Jean Tennis Center was an unbelievable place to be playing pickleball for the very first time. A thank you to our USA Pickleball certified referees who rocked it out all weekend, our sponsors, our vendors. You guys, the fans, thank you so much for coming out and watching this amazing pickleball. And of course, a big thank you to Boxcar Productions bringing you this production all weekend long. Kyle Salenko, Randy Coleman, Ariel Butler, Justin Dickerson and Matthew Pace on the close-up cams and Steve Taylor rocking those photos and videos. We are back next weekend for the Indianapolis Open before we head to California. Thank you so much for your support of the APP Tour. We will see you next time.